you and your doctor have decided that you will be giving yourself an injection of medicine your doctor has prescribed. During this program, we will show you how to properly prepare for and conduct self-injection. After a couple of times, self-injecting will become a habit, just like self-dressing or brushing your teeth. But, as with all habits, there are good ones and bad ones. If you follow the instructions of your healthcare professional, you will avoid picking up any bad habits. You should choose an area in which to work. It should be clean, comfortable, and well lit. Use this same area every day at the same time. Each time you inject a dose of Nupigen, you will need to gather the following supplies. Nupigen syringe, alcohol wipes, paper towel, cotton ball or gauze, band-aid, optional, a hard walled sharps container for discarding syringes. Take the carton with syringes out of the refrigerator. It is important to dispose of any syringes that have been at room temperature for more than 24 hours. Next, check the label and the expiration date at the side of the carton. Remove the required number of syringes and place the carton back in the refrigerator. Do not inject if Nupigen is not listed on the carton. The expiration date on the syringe label has passed. It is always important to look carefully at the syringes and the medicine in the syringe by holding the syringe body to make sure it is not damaged. Inspect the medicine in the syringe. It should be a clear liquid. Do not inject if Nupigen is not listed on the label. The medicine is cloudy, discolored, or foamy. The medicine contains lumps, flakes, or particles. Wait for 30 minutes for the syringe to warm to room temperature. It will provide a more comfortable injection. When you are ready to inject, wash your hands with soap and warm water and dry thoroughly with a disposable paper towel or a clean fabric towel. Do not inject into areas that are tender, red, bruised, hard, or have scars or stretch marks. If two injections will be performed, then the second injection should be at least one inch away from the first injection. It is important that you select a different injection site each time you give yourself an injection. Your nurse will review with you how to select appropriate injection sites. Clean the injection site using an alcohol swab. Allow the site to dry for 5 to 10 seconds to avoid stinging. Do not touch or blow on the site after cleaning. Place a piece of paper towel on the table. With the needles facing away from you, hold the syringe firmly in one hand and pull the needle cap straight off, extending your hand away from the needle. You may need to adjust the medicine level for your prescribed dose. Do not recap the needle now or after the injection. Throw away the needle cap in a sharps container. Before you adjust the medicine, hold the syringe with the needle end facing up and gently tap the barrel to make sure any tiny bubbles rise to the top. Make sure you can easily see the syringe markings and numbers. Then to adjust, push the plunger slowly and carefully until the top edge directly below the dome of the gray rubber stopper is even with the line that corresponds to your prescribed dose. Do not use the top of the cone or the middle or lower edges of the gray stopper to measure your dose. Use the top edge fill line. Use your free hand to firmly pinch the skin you've previously cleaned. Hold the body of the syringe between your thumb and index finger. Do not hold or push on the plunger while inserting the needle into your skin. And use a quick motion to fully insert the needle straight into the pinched skin at a 45 to 90 degree angle. When the needle is inserted, you can release the pinched skin. Push the plunger down, injecting all of the Nupigen. Use your finger to gently push down on the plunger. When the plunger head is as far down as it will go and all of the Nupigen has been injected, remove the needle from your skin. Be sure to activate the safety device before disposing of your syringe. Dispose of used syringes in a puncture resistant sharps disposal container immediately after use. You can make a sharps disposal container by taking an empty household container that is made of heavy duty plastic. It must be able to be closed with a tight-fitting, puncture-resistant lid that will prevent sharps from being able to come out. It should also be able to be kept upright and stable during use. Be leak-resistant. You should properly label the container 
to warn of hazardous waste inside the container. When your Sharps disposal container is almost full, you will need to follow your community guidelines for the right way to dispose of your Sharps disposal container. There may be state or local laws about how you should throw away used syringes and needles. Do not dispose of your used Sharps disposal container in your household trash unless your community guidelines permit this. Do not recycle your used Sharps disposal container. When you are finished, wash your hands with soap and water and dry your hands thoroughly with a clean towel.